Say and spell your name, please. Lieutenant Dwayne Smith. And uh, D-E-W? D-E-W-A-Y-N-E-S-M-I-T-H. Very good. And uh, when did you meet Jeff Merritt? I met Jeff back in, no, actually 2000 and, let's see, 90, came in in 99, 2003. 2003. Um, 2003. I was employed at the Vicksburg Police Department in 1999 as a regular officer. I got transferred back in narcotics back in 2003. Um, that's when I had the opportunity to, to meet Jeff Merritt and he became my FTO along with him and uh, Sergeant Kevin Williams. What's FTO? F field training also for narcotics. And after that, um, once uh, Sergeant Kevin Williams left, Jeff became the supervisor of narcotics and that's when me and him became close. For a while, it was just myself, Jeff, Tom Wilson, and Lieutenant, Bob, well, Captain Bob Stewart, whatever. And then after a while, it just came me and Jeff, better known as Tub and Crockett's. You seen Jeff, you seen met myself. And people on the street gave us the nickname of Tub and Crockett's from uh, Miami Advice. Uh, after that, we began to make major drug buses. Um, we came in contact, and I actually came along a shirt that I um, bought in Atlanta, Georgia that said, can't sell dope forever. That shirt became um, viral around Big Spirit and uh, Jeff also purchased one throughout the years and we both wore the shirts on our uh, major bus and said, can't sell dope forever. And after that, um, we just known as Crockett and Tubbs. Um, once, back in three years ago, once I got promoted to a sergeant, I had to lead the shift. Uh, it was real hard, I mean, Jeff, actually we sat down and talked about it. He told me he had a great influence on because I told my man, I really want to stay back in narcotics. I really want, he said, well, you know, you got to advance to uh, become up in the rank and by his staying in narcotics, you're not gonna be able to do so. And he gave me the strong suggestion. He said, told me personally that he would want me to advance within the ranks of the Vicksburg Police Department. And he, I took his advice. He said, I prefer you to just go in to, to, to the shift to get promoted and leave narcotics alone. And for now, you, you never know that you probably be able to come back to narcotics. See, but for, for now though, I wish that you wish you well and go ahead and move through the ranks and go ahead and take your position on the shift. It was a hard pill to swallow. I was hoping that he told me to stay back there and knock with him, but by him being unselfish, he was looking out for my future, and I, I took his advice and decided to move on from narcotics. And so I worked with Jeff all together for 15 years in narcotics. Um, like I say, you've seen him, you've seen me, and we're very known to these criminals around here as Crockett and Tubbs uh, of my advice. Now, when you guys were out there, I, somebody told me a rumor that you guys would let people know you're looking for somebody and they would just turn themselves in. Right, so um, sometimes we actually we'll contact them by phone and they would say, okay, well you don't have to come to my mom's house, you don't have to come to my girlfriend's house, I'll be there at a certain time. Well, sometimes they'll build it off, but they, they would just turn themselves in and, and on that date that they said they would. And then um, another r rumor was that they knew you guys were gonna be fair. Excuse me, I can't They knew you guys were gonna be fair with them. Oh, right, right, right. Like some, um, all this, the stuff they've seen on TV, cricket cops or whatever, they know that uh, me and Jeff never known for that. Uh, like we'll tell them, man, it's just a cat and mouse game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But most of the time you all win and we lose, but this time we won and but you suffer the consequences and you get caught incarcerated. How many people do you think are gonna be happy about Jeff Merritt retiring? Ooh, as far as criminals? <laughs> uh, all of them. <laughs> a great amount, about 85% of them. But you know, it, I know they, they'll be happy, but at the same time, we got a lot of respect from the guys that we arrest. I would see them along the streets or whatever, they'll speak or whatever. So half of them, they eat max to buy lunch or they'll see me at a, a bar or something, ask me to buy me a drink or anything. But we did grab that respect for them and it was like, it might've been 10% that just hold a grudge for the wrong that they was doing. But, but I say about more, 85, 90% of them, they respect myself and Jeff and they knew that we was fair to them and that the game they was playing, they were bound to get caught. And me and myself and Jeff were just outsmarting and catching and get them incarcerated. What would you like to say to Jeff on his retirement? I wish him farewell, him and his family, uh, farewell. And uh, sorry he had to leave so soon because I hoping that we would rejoin one day, but we will, maybe not been in narcotics, but we still rejoin as friends and we'll remain friends and we'll keep in contact. He will also, we will also keep that contact and also go out together and go watch games, the New Orleans Saints and the Cowboys together and stay in contact. Um, hate to see him go, but I wish him well and God bless him, him and his family and everything's gonna be all right.